welcome to this tutorial on the nine positions of gaze and how to do an extra ocular ocular motility exam. We are using the Neuro Opfal app, which can be found on the iPad App Store. There are nine cardinal positions of gaze and six cardinal positions that correspond to each of the extra ocular muscles. It is not important how you get these nine positions of gaze but it's important you have a systematic approach. Some people prefer to do a star, star pattern starting at the primary position, but today we'll be using a H configuration. It is important while you're doing this to look for underactions, overactions, upswings, nystagmus. This patient has been set to have no abnormalities in his ocular motility. but further tutorials shall show the full range. So the extra ocular muscles do not act in isolation and each agonist muscle has an antagonist. So if we take the right lateral, lateral rectus as an example, In this case, the right lateral rectus is the agonist. Its antagonist is the, is the right medial rectus. So as the right lateral rectus is receiving innervation, under Sherrington's law, there is decreased innervation to his antagonist, the right medial rectus. Each agonist also has a yoke muscle. If we take the right lateral rectus again, its yoke muscle is in the contralateral eye. It is the left medial rectus. And under Herring's law, there is equal innervation. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any suggestions or requests, please subscribe and send them to me via the Neuroopfile YouTube channel and the full interactive app is available on the iPad App Store.